okay everyone uh, welcome back to the online tutor so today tutorial i'm going to discuss the vector products right so actually in vector products right so this is known as a dot product and cross product right so in our syllabus we are focusing only the dot product but the definition of the cross product is available uh, in our syllabus right so let's move to the today's session product of two vectors so actually we have two products two uh, methods of the product of two vectors the first one is scalar scalar product of vectors so the symbol is a dot b right and another now it's dot product similar name right and the second one is the vector the vector product <coughs> vector product of two vectors of two vectors the symbol is a cross b cross product These are the uh, products in our syllabus. So today I am focusing only the scalar product, right? Scalar product. Scalar product. Dot product. The definition of the dot product. Definition. So assume you have a vector A and B which have angle theta A dot B which is modulus A modulus B cos theta modulus A modulus B cos theta The answer is actually scalar the answer is a scalar. So that is why it's scalar product. Actually, Scalar product is commutative. Commutative means a dot b equal to b dot a. Right? This definition is same. So a dot b is equal to b dot a. So therefore, the scalar product is commutative. Scalar product not violate distributive law. What is distributive law? A dot B dot C can be written with A dot B plus A dot C. Right? So the distributive law is not violated in the scalar product. The next one, if a equal xi plus yg, b equal, this is x1, y1, 
x2 i plus y2 j and what will happen for the a dot b so a dot b means x1 i y2 j x2 i y2 j so when you simplify it you will have four terms x1 x2 i dot i x1 x2 i dot x2 y2 i dot j y1 x2 j dot i y1 y2 j dot j so what is actually i i so i i i mean our x axis no? this is my i axis so I I mean modulus I modulus I cos zero because the I I in the same plane. So I mean unit vector one one and this is four. So what happen if you multiply I into J? So it's modulus I modulus J cos nine you know because I is I and J are perpendicular to each other. So then this becomes zero. Right? Therefore, therefore, always A dot B it's X1, 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 X2, I is 1. X1, X2 plus Y1, Y2. So the middle terms are not appear in the answer. Okay. The first question is find vector sum of f1, f2, f3, f4. So what you have to do, you just need to add it. So add it. Plus seven minus four J. So then seven seven minus eleven nine seven minus four J it's minus four I plus three J. The next one is find scalar product of F1 and F2, F3 and F4. Scalar products. So how to find? Two y. 3j f2 phi i minus 3j so this 10 i dot i is 1 so always i dot i is 1 i dot j is 0 then 3 minus 3 it's 9 the answer is 1 What about F3, F4? Minus 8i plus 7j. Minus 3i minus 4j. 8 into 3 plus 24i dot i. 
This is the next one. You have to prove that f1 into f1 plus f2 plus f3 equal to f1 f2 plus f1 f3. So f1 into f2 plus f3 means 2y plus 3j. Addition of these three is minus 3i plus 4j. 2 2 is minus 6, 3 3 is plus 2 8, it's plus 6. This is left hand side. On right hand side, f1, f2, f1, f3. 2y plus 3j, 5i minus 3j. f1, f3, 2y plus 3j. Minus 8 i plus 7 j. So this is 10 minus 9 plus 16 21. This is 1 RHS. It's 1 plus LHS equal RHS. So this is what I got for that part. So hope you are okay with the dot product of uh, two vectors. Right, so always if two vectors are perpendicular, cular, right? It's like perpendicular, right? Then A dot B, right? Modulus A, modulus B equal cos theta. No? If it is A and B are perpendicular, this theta is 90. In a dot b getting zero, right? So always happening. If two vectors are perpendicular, then the dot product is always zero. Okay, this is my uh, next sum. If a and b are two perpendicular vectors, so first one is find p. how to determine P, you should multiply it. P i plus 3 j, 2 i minus 6 j, is getting 0, 2 P minus 18 is 0, 2 P 18 P equal 9. And then on number 2, Find modulus A and modulus 3B minus A. What is actual modulus A? So modulus A means this P squared plus 3 squared. So now P is 9 and it's 9 squared plus 3 square 81 plus 9 square of 90 
So the first of all, I'm going to find 3B minus A to determine the next one. 3A mean 2Y minus 6J. P mean it's 9. 9 I, 9 I plus 3 J. 6 minus 3 I. 21. So modulus of 3B minus A. It's modulus of minus 3 square. Minus 21 square. It's 9 plus. 21 into 21 Right, so the third round number this is the next round number. Find a dot three b minus c right. So a mean nine nine plus three j three b minus a it was so it's 3b minus a min minus 3i minus 2 so then the product is 27 3 into 21 Minus thirty seven, right? And the next wrong number, wrong number four, find angle between A and three B minus A. So we can write the definition, right? A minus 3B minus A. It's modulus A, 3B minus A, equal cos theta. So cos theta mean angle, right? So this angle. So this is minus 37. Modulus A is 90. Square root 90. Square root half. Right? So cos theta become minus 37 over 19 to 450 this is the answer of that sum right so hope uh, you are okay with that part okay children so this is the uh, first episode of the uh, dot product of the uh, two vectors right so tomorrow i will upload the second episode right so so thank you very much for being with us and have a nice day goodbye